Hello everybody, welcome to Renowned Explorers International Society. This is a strategy adventure game. Assemble your team and use their beauty brains or brawn to resolve any encounters they come across during their expeditions. Become famous by discovering the most prestigious treasures in fictitious 19th century. So this game is coming out uh, today, September 2nd. The best way to describe it would be a somewhat turn-based action, roguelike, light-hearted fictitious 19th century exploration game. <laughs> I guess that's a whole way to describe it. I haven't been able to play too much of it um, because I have been haven't been too busy with school so we just did the tutorial and whatnot um, but I guess I can learn with you guys if you don't mind. Uh, this, you have two different game modes, discover and adventure mode, so you'll be able to retry whenever you lose, save and load whenever you want to, and each new location is faster, choose this option if you like to make discoveries with greater speed, and adventure mode seems to be a little bit more of a hardcore mode, because you can't reload previous situations, if you lose it's game over, um, choose this option if you're looking for perilous, yet more memorable adventures, um, I think we'll try discovery mode at first. Uh, on the screen, you'll pick your crew. First, select a captain, which will give you a unique ability. You can unlock more captains by playing the game. Then select other slots and pick your other crew members. Crew or different crew members have different strengths, so choose wisely. All right. So when you select your crew captain, you basically get um, one of each. You can do a scientist, a scout, a fighter, or a speaker. Uh, last run I had her. I like the look of him. Okay, Henry Walker. Henry was a street urchin who survived uh, on the streets by pickpocketing now he's cunning and charming leader. Uh, we're gonna have him. He's, he sounds good. He's a little 21 year old Brit. A couple years younger than me. Uh, so for the rest of the crew, uh, definitely want a fighter on our team. We have Ivan Dashkov. Nice, I kind of like that. She's like a, oh, what do they call them? I completely forgot the Mexican. Um, like oh, it starts with an L. I don't know, but like the masked Mexican wrestlers. <laughs> and then we should probably have, should we have a speaker or a scientist? Um, I don't know. Let's have that guy's got crazy hair. Earl Shanty. Earl is a nephew to renowned explorer janitors. <laughs> He's from what? Of a renowned explorer's janitor from Kansas. Hmm. Good with explosives. Good to hear. <laughs> so basically, you're assembling your crew to try and join the renowned explorers, which are like that. Well, this exactly what it sounds like an explorers club. I don't know. Okay, but I got our crew selected, so we're gonna start our adventure. There they are. The game has a fantastic art style, really fun to see the different characters and their movements and actions and whatnot, especially when you get into encounters later on. I've enjoyed it so far, as well as the soundtrack. This is it, you just get your renowned Explorers International Society membership. Harry wants to make a big entrance. Find the burial site of Saxon Kings. Uh, found somewhere on the mainland of Britain. Wait, what? Found somewhere on the mainland of Britain, but King Egbert's grave remains a particular mystery. Uh, we're going to pop through the tutorial quick, just to kind of go over things, I probably need a refresher. If this is your first time playing, you may want to familiar yourselves, uh, yourself with uh, some key concept and renowned explorers before venturing into the unknown. A local Highlander volunteers if you want to help. So let's go over the expedition economy. During expeditions, you must remember to collect resources, gold, place for gears and supplies, status attracts and entourage, research can be spent on research upgrades. Okay, easy enough. You might find you might not find a need for these resources during some expeditions, but once you start preparing for following expeditions, they will be indispensable. You got it. Lastly, keep the expedition on track. Traveling on expeditions, yeah, I'm gonna be saying that word a lot, aren't I? <laughs> Consume supplies, so just bread apparently. If you run out of them, misfortune will befall your crew. Mind your resolve. You lose resolve by failing tests or being defeated in encounters. If your resolve, if your reserve ever drops. Oh, to zero resolve, your expedition is over, and you'll never become a famous explorer. Oh no. Oh no. You often get this chance to regain some supplies and resolve, so keep your eyes open. Noted. Find the treasure to collect or try to find the treasure to complete the expedition. Collect gold, status, and research on your way there. Don't run out of resolve and supplies. With that knowledge, you're ready to embark on expeditions. Alright. Let's go over encounters. 
During your travels, you will be res uh, resolving so many different situations during your account during encounters. In this encounter scenario, you may familiar yourself familiarize yourself with its basic rules. The Highlanders have volunteered to participate in this exercise. Okay, so we're gonna enter the encounter. There's some parts of the encounters that I'm still trying to wrap my head around. So there are basically three ways to resolve any encounter, being friendly, devious, or aggressive. Okay, follow the tutorial selection. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically the encounter screen. Kind of a smallish map area with a roughly hexagonal layout. Um, you get certain amount of... Uh, this is the turn-based part of the game, so you get certain amount of movements. Uh, you can see where they go. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can see how far they can go. So the people like the scouts have a much further range. Fighters and scientists uh, and the other class, uh, speaker, tend to have this all the same range. So the scout definitely is going to have quite a bit more. So up here is the mood. Alright, this is the current mood of the encounter. The attitude of you and your opponents combined determines the current mood. Click for more. Okay. Their current attitude is, ag is aggressive. Uh, we don't have one right now. So we're going to send in our team. Okay, here's some more information on the moods. The moods with the most beneficial effects are those where your current attitude is the effective or is effective against your opponent's attitude. For example, becoming aggressive when facing devious opponents will be highly effective right up until the moment they start striking back. The opposite is also true. While your devious attacks are more effective against an aggressive opponent, your crew will be blindsided should they use friendly attacks. Okay, we're holding the rest of one. Yeah, okay, so we can move the rest of our crew over. Okay, I already saw that. Uh, we've exhausted all of our possible moves, so we're gonna end the turn. The mood changes after one or more strikes with the enemy. Oh, I can't see the thing right now, the stupid tutorial's in the way. Okay, basically they're attacking me because they're being aggressive. Those crazy red bearded bastards. Okay. So now we need to decide what we want to do. Um, we could just beat them up, I could attack them. Um, see, their mood is neutral right now, because you can see it there. Well, that's not their mood, that's, um... God, is this? It's not spirit. What is this bar called? But if they like, he goes green. If they don't like, he goes red. Uh, right now, they want us to attack. Uh, that's our only option, so we'll go ahead and just open up on them. Punch a punch. Okay, so we defeated their spirit. She's at a point, so we're going to go ahead and use our... Um, Crazy explosives, guys. Damn, shot him right in the face. <laughs> shot him in the face, but it only hurt his spirit somehow. So there we got an aggressive victory. Okay, yeah. The uh, encounters can be resolved in different ways. So we'll try and... Uh, I'll try to show you that now. I think it should let me use the other ways. Yes. Okay, yeah, now we have different ones. So let's, attack, let's select our uh, leader here. So he has attack, which is aggressive. He has enrage, which is devious. And impress, which um, is friendly. Um, so in encounters, you don't actually have to defeat them. You just have to defeat their spirit. And it's weird because even defeating their, like, making them friendly towards you defeats their spirit. I'll show you. It's a lot easier to show than to explain. Probably, maybe. Okay, so we're just gonna send everyone over. This guy looks like, um, Buddy from The Incredibles. <laughs> he's got the giant red hair. Oh, so these guys, oh, see, he's gonna be all friendly towards me, but that's still gonna lower my spirit. Okay, so let's go ahead and have her pop on over. And we're gonna try and terrify them, actually, we're gonna be devious. So she's just going to talk to them and talk about how badass she is, and that's going to terrify them. Can he not go over here? Okay, yeah, we can see the mood changed. Okay. The mood causes a unique effect on your crew. Uh, the mood is determined by you and your opponents. Okay, yeah. So we're, the tier we're tyrannizing them right now. Anticipating the attitude of the opponent is an effective way of getting an advantage if your op opponent is friendly you can exploit by being yeah aggressive so you can see that up here if they're friendly uh be aggressive 
If they're devious, we can be friendly. So you want to go backwards, kind of. So they're being friendly right now, so we can exploit that by being aggressive. And that should... But that's just... I don't know. That's the same thing I already did. That's going to take them out no matter what. Uh, let's go up here. And... Let's, uh, let's just try and impress him. So we dare how great we are, and... He's going to basically lose and run away. Mainly because he... It was a mixture of... Hey, yes, it was devious. Devious and friendly and whatnot. <laughs> okay, I already know how to lead expeditions. Let's go adventure awaits. Moving on to the main core of the game. Everyone was a bit nervous. The first expedition is crucial for the crew's confidence. The crew starts out with zero resolve. So that's something we can't let get the zero. Um, I, That's cool. Okay, so I can't really see what that is. My recording software is uh, over it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta plug in my phone real quick. There we go. Okay, uh, the crew loses its will to explore and adventure is over. Adventures are over, however, expedition, every expedition you complete gives you more resolve. Okay. So this is the main screen. Uh, we can uh, go. We can make a path straight to there, or we can kind of explore a little bit. Uh, we got seven supplies, so we're gonna go ahead and just explore a little bit. You can see our little dots running around. One of those rainy days, uh, on one of those rainy days, you see a feather lying beneath a small tree. The feather is both magnificent and valuable. Sweet, so we got a feather. Uh, that's going to give us a campaign token and a collect token. So for each campaign token, you receive the following resources. So it improves our status, and this will improve our gold. Pretty good. You encounter a group of Highlanders sweating and breathing heavily. One of them, uh, who calls the other, or who the other is called Coach Speaks. Hey there, we're a local rugby team. We're trying to increase our stamina by jogging. Uh, we were just about to do some tactical drill or tackle drills. Why don't you join us and show us what you got? Okay, so Harry participates in the training. Only 10% to succeed. Uh, Dolores, though, is 77%. Okay, so let's try that. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> really close to the skull. Dolores tackles the rugby players if they, as if they weren't there. Eventually, um, even three of them try and tackle Dolores at once, but Dolores keeps standing strong. After the training is over, the coach shows great appreciation. That was the best performance ever seen. This will go down in history as the best training ever. Too bad you can't add you to our team. There we go. So we got some more tokens for that. And Resolve is doing all right. Uh, let's head over here. The landscape of the hills change. Or the landscape of the hills changes. Uh, you find more and more shacks and houses. Eventually, you arrive at a small mining village. You ask about the local village. This is a small mining village of um, Kyrenstone. Almost everything here is a, almost everyone here is a miner. It's hard work, but uh, the pay of a good mining season makes up for a lot. The mines can be found if you follow the main road. Let's go ahead and visit the mine. You arrive at the mine and see an old man enjoying a mid-afternoon scotch. You decide to talk to him. I have been retired for some years now, but somehow I cannot leave this place. Uh, the charm of finding beautiful stones or gems after weeks of hard work is uh, addictive, really. The mine contains many stones, many secrets, main mineral here is found quartz, but small pieces of gold and amber are found. Harry decides to mine for a day. It might be wise to consult an expert and do some research uh, before the crew mines. Uh, let's talk to a gold expert. Why would it help the competition scram? Um, okay, so if Harry talks to him, we have 41% chance to succeed. Um, but it's, ah, we'll go for it. Why not? Worst thing is hard. Oh, yeah! We did it. Of course I can help you. <laughs> Even though he just said help the competition scram. If you mine on the left side of the mines, your chances of finding gold increase. Okay, it's mine on the left. After some intense digging against a hard rock and fighting quartz. Oh, sweet. You found gold. What a find. Golden cloud. Take that treasure. You the mine with a great feeling. You were quite lucky to have found such a treasure in a beautiful place. Well, many people search a lifetime for finding something so beautiful. Nice. So here's the main place we're going. But we can kind of explore around for a little bit. Don't have to go directly there. Okay, we find a cave. The crew lies death back down their backpacks and makes the fire is rather close and for warmth. Once fire is blazing, the cave appears to be larger. Uh, you notice lots of Saxon war equipment. 
Okay. Um, we got plenty of camp or er, collect tokens. Let's get some campaign tokens. While collecting some of the equipment, you notice some tactical plans written on the cave walls. Studying this will give you a tactical defensive insight. Who will study these plans? Um, let's have Dolores study them. Dolores gains a tactician defense perk. Nice, okay, so she should be nice and defensive now. Oh, uh, let's see, one, two, three, okay. Uh, let's just go here. I wanna, because otherwise I would, because I was going to go there. Um, but that would have taken all my food. Oh, sweet, we got some supplies. Nice. Tough cost one supplies. Okay, yeah, we can go there. Oh, should we found a lot? Dang. The crew is suddenly ambushed by some aggressive looking men. These foreign fancy pants aren't going to take all our jobs to attack. Okay. So now we got our first real encounter. Last time my first encounter was, was wolves. Okay. So they are being aggressive. So it might be good. Oh, wait, she's got to be next to them. We'll send Dolores over here. And try and try to encourage. <laughs> oh, she fumbled. Dang it, it didn't work. Oh, dang it. Um, oh, maybe that's not the opposite. Okay, if your opponent is aggressive, you can make him crazy by being devious. Oh, okay, so we should be devious to them. Okay. Ooh! That worked. Okay. He became enraged and lost it. Um, let's enrage him as well. Okay, it didn't quite take it out his spirit. Um, okay, we're being proactive now. Let's end that turn. He's probably going to smack him. Ow. Ooh, that hurt quite a bit. And he missed. What a jerk. Okay, let's try and enrage him again. Oh. Didn't quite do it enough. Yeah, let's terrify him. Yeah. Okay, we got him down. I hope he doesn't take him out. That would suck. Let's end that turn. No, leave him alone. No! We lost from Resolve. Oh. I guess he can't walk on uh, the body of his friend. Uh, let's go ahead and enrage him. Okay. There we go. We got a devious victory. We got some... Um, two encounter tokens. Gave us some renown. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, with the situation resolved, the crew continued exploring. Dolores is baffled of the fact that these men thought that the shepherding or mining was any interest to you. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, no, we don't have any resolve. Okay, looks like we can upgrade them. Okay, so it'll have their speech. Uh, let's increase his attack power. Uh, her as well. Okay, let's head on in. The burial site of the Saxon Kings must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. Okay. The crew searches through the hills and quickly finds uh, what they're looking for, the Saxon burial site. One of the tombs is, uh, is of King Egbert, a particularly mysterious figure. Finding secrets will surely skyrocket your reputation at the Rand Explorers. We hear familiar laughter. <gasps> he gads, behind you stands the French explorer. <sighs> I know there's a way to pronounce that. Isn't like Revelo, who's considered to be the most promising of the Rand Explorers, he speaks. Thank you, amateur. Under the rule 24B of the Explorer's Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. 
and I really need to excavate King Egbert's tomb to gain another honorary titer. title. Explain how you worked hard for this treasure. Hmm. My friend Tommy can explain the situation a little better. Well, he's gonna go plunder. Uh oh. All right, so he's sending his uh, goons, his henchmen, to deal with us, and hopefully we can show them what's what. Okay, so defeat the boss. Uh, friendly, Tommy thinks you're nice. Get some motion heart and leave. He's impressed by our skill. Okay. The Ratatouille is aggressive. Uh, this makes them stronger if you're friendly, but weaker if you're devious. Okay, so we should be devious to them. Oh, she's got two devious ones now. She's got Primal Roar. Okay, let's go ahead and use that. Oh, that wasn't an actual thing. Okay. That wasn't one of these. That seemed to be something else entirely. Okay, let's go ahead and enrage that guy. Yeah, I was going to say, because these guys are pretty weak. Like We should be able to take them out with these main attacks pretty easily. It is the first mission. Woo! Alright, let's go ahead and end that turn. Just got to watch out for that boss. He's kind of a jerk. Ow, crap. And these guys are beating me up pretty hard. Okay, he missed. Good. Miss, 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 miss. Damn it. Okay, let's enrage that guy. And enrage these two. Or terrify. And I guess we'll just no not impress enrage. <laughs> That's weird that they get enraged and just leave, but oh well. Alright, so now we just got the boss and one more goon. But the boss is probably gonna be pretty tough. Ow. Actually that he did less than his goon did. And he missed. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's just keep trying to use the devious attacks on him. Seems to be working pretty well. Well, it's weird because I don't really see a reason to, like, mix the attacks. Because, like, why wouldn't I just use the same attack um, over and over again? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll learn more as the game goes on. Where are you going? Ow! No! He killed... or he... So do we lose? Oh. <laughs> that was annoying. <laughs> we could retry that as a counter. But nah. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's Renown Explorers International Society. Probably gonna do a series on this game, so leave a like if you enjoyed, want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and a quick shout out to my patrons. Click, Burt Macklin FBI, The New Warden, DPay, and Tiny Pirate. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if anyone else is interested in supporting the channel, you can visit patreon.com/ctop. Thanks for watching.